Hey guys, for the people who don't know, my name is Brooklyn. For the people who already know, hey boo. So we are back with another wig install. Okay, so this video is going to be a little different from my normal videos because I'm actually reinstalling the wig that I already installed. I got this wig and this is a water wig texture. If you follow me on social media, you guys seen that I installed this wig and I wand curled it. And I had made a video of me actually washing it here to show you that it does go back to its original texture. I used 410 degrees for the wand curler and for the hot comb. You guys know I use my 500 degree hot comb. So this wig can handle heat and be able to go back to its normal texture. It can be bleached with no problem and it has small knots. I didn't have any problems with this wig. Um, so I received this wig from Style Savvy Boutique. I want you guys to go check them out. You can use my discount code BROOKLYN10OFF in all capital letters. I will have it linked in the description box below. But I first started off with putting my makeup shade and smoothing the hairs back so we can start seeing what the wig looks like. Okay, so I just adjusted my band and I'm going to just make sure it's not too tight okay and yes i will just be leaving my hair in a ponytail because i have been sleeping on my ponytail so it's actually flat to the point where um i don't need to do anything with it okay so i'm just gonna use a clip because the way that i hot comb this it just wants to stick up. So this is how everything is looking. I feel like reinstalling a wig that you already installed is easier than putting it on if you're a beginner. Um, and then I think for this, I'm gonna play with the curls, you know, fluff them out and stuff. I just let the hair air dry. So I do two to three layers. You could do however many layers you would like. But me, I don't wear my wigs past two weeks lately. Probably if that. I might leave it on for a week, depending if I have something to do. And before you put down your next layer, you want to make sure the previous layer has dried clear. Okay, so you see how mine's is clear? Now I'm going to start by laying the wig down. Okay, so now that I got the main parts. Okay, y'all, I thought I had this lopsided. I was about to cry. <laughs> but now that we got the main parts glued down, we're just going to go back in and add glue to the pieces that I haven't. But I won't be able to record this part just because I need to get up close to actually make sure that I'm getting the parts that I need to. So I'll see you guys once I add glue to all of the places. Okay, y'all, so I had to open the door a little bit because it started getting hot. And if you know, when you're trying to do your hair and if you start sweating stuff, the glue's gonna start turning white. So I can't let that happen. I already had like a little mishap right here. Hopefully we can fix that. If not, act like y'all don't see it. <laughs> but, okay. I know we're looking a little crazy right now. Trust the process. So now that I kind of glued down the extra pieces the best that I could, we're going to use the spray, tie it down, and then that's when I'm going to go in and I'll be able to see more. So I'll be able to see more of what needs to be glued down. <sighs> And I spray it on my finger because I just hate when I um, spray it on my forehead and I get like all the glue. I mean, all of the spray on my forehead and trying to wipe it off and stuff. But a trick that I did do, your little makeup brush, when it still got makeup on it, 
spray it. And then you're just gonna go over and like tap it in. And I don't know, I did this when I first put my wig on and I just loved it. So, <laughs> so now we're gonna tie it down and I'm gonna leave it tied down for a moment. And I'm just about to perfect my middle part because I think I am just going to keep it in the middle part, at least for now. It's not like I'm going somewhere right now. I think that's the middle part, but <laughs> we'll be able to see more once I take this band off. But no, I think I got it. So let me just smooth this out a bit. Okay. I'm not gonna brush this out yet or anything. I was actually thinking about cutting it. I really want to cut it like to my shoulders or whatever. But I like when I curled it and I had it like this length. So um I'll just be back in a few moments. All right, yeah, and I'm sorry, y'all, if y'all could hear my daughter's lullaby in the background. I'm sorry about that. We're going to plug our mini flatters up to fix these baby hairs. <laughs> you see, it's about to come. It's about to come here, baby. And so, y'all see, it really don't take much to reinstall your own wig. Literally, as long as you got some glue, just go along your hairline. And that's why I say don't cut that extra lace because then that's when you really going to be messed up if you don't know how to fix it. You just want to put that extra glue on and just, I might need some scissors for this part. Yeah, I'm going to get some scissors for this part. I'll be right back. Okay, so I swear I talk about these things all the time, but I like literally got surgical scissors that I use for my wigs. Like this is the best thing to cut your lace, to cut your baby hairs. So we're gonna start with this set first. So I don't really gotta worry about like a curl curl because my still kind of got. But don't be trying to burn your foreheads with this stuff now. Now I don't got no edge brush, so yes, I'm using a comb. But you wanna just spray it on and just like hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, so you see how I'm just combing it? It's like I already just play with it. This hair, I don't want there. But if you're not comfortable with that, just brush it back up. But I like to do my baby hairs with hairspray because it don't be too much. And then when you brush me, if you want that fluffy look, use hairspray. So then when it dries, you could just comb them out. You want to like see motions, but I like to kind of like push this forward to kind of, so I'm like pushing it closer to like my forehead, just so when you comb it out, you don't want it to end up like straight down like this. You want it to have like some curve and swoop to it. So comb it in like that, you guys will see. And I don't do sideburns because I can't do sideburns. Well, I could, but I can't do sideburns how I want to do them on, like, the other side. And this, I just do that. We're just going to 
move that down a bit. And that's kind of just what I do. Anybody who knows me knows I'm not a baby hair person at all. <laughs> but you know, I did this for the people. But I don't know, it was something different. So I was like, I like it. I'm gonna actually keep going with it. Oh, y'all can even curl this one, but. Alright, if y'all got mini flat iron, try to use a big one and just get like curl it before you cut it. But this one already still kind of has some shape to it. So like you see how I did that? And you guys will see what it looks like once um fully done with it. But I'm just going to dab this on my fingers and go across this to just lay everything down while I work with the rest of the hair. And then, once we're done with that, we'll just comb our hairs out, our baby hairs out. So I don't fully know what I want to do with the rest of this i don't think i want to brush it out because i don't want the full poofy look so first we're going to start off with just playing with our fingers okay so this is what the hair looks like after literally me just doing this detangling detangling it with my fingers i did not use a brush or anything and i still could keep going because i have even been doing it this long especially this side but i just feel like it's fine because it's like i'm like literally about to just go to sleep so it's like this is what it looks like washed and just fluffed out using my hands so now let's take ooh. okay we're gonna take this off and let me show you guys okay see you see how I just comb that out it it's fluffy but you see how since I did it inward it's like still have it shape sorry y'all got hair all in my face okay so this is what we're looking like for the hair I like my hair just like messy Okay, so this is literally what the wig looks like. Just me messing around with it and fluffed out. I'll probably do a style or something. I don't know. Um, just because I'm going to sleep. So I'm not like really set on doing any kind of style or anything right now. But I like to wear my hair like this way. So I'll probably just like gonna like play with it I don't like to do parts okay y'all so i'm sorry if you guys hear her lullabies um i had wanted to re-record this part because i ended up going back and a little makeup to my part i like brushed out a little bit with my little detangler thing and i just cut it a little bit because i usually like like this length and i like to just to be able to like do stuff like that and it still be like a cute little length 
So, that is literally all I did was brush it and cut it and put a little makeup on the part.